How you doing? I'm drinking some delicious coffee. It's a new flavor. Coconut? It's just a treat. <clears throat> so I thought I would make a video explaining a little bit about who I am, you know, where I've been, where I'm at, where I'm going. Um, it's a cloudy rainy day or a cloudy rainy week here in Kansas City and I'm parked outside of the Truman Library. I thought I would start here um, because uh, I've been wondering why does God have me here in this town? And it just, I feel like now's the time I'm supposed to start looking into this. Um, if you know anything about President Truman, he's one of the guys who helped create the CIA. And if you know anything about MK Ultra and that military bases is where they do their experimenting and abusing of people and humans and children. Uh, Missouri it has a lot of this going on um, and I actually met a person a couple years ago who told me all about his abuse right around here at a military base. Anyway, I don't want to talk about that today. Talk about more details on that another time. Um, you can see uh, I'm not wearing too much makeup today. I have really bad allergies. This is my Aaron's updo, my bifocals, and my my above 40 uh, Aaron's wear. Because <laughs> it's time to start acting like an adult, or looking like an adult, an adult, that's what I mean. <laughs> anyway. All right, off the top, um, I'm kind of moving on from the Pedogate and, P and Pizzagate, okay? I'm still with you all in spirit, but I have other work I need to do. Um, if you want to know more about my personal story, look at my bio feed on my Facebook page called Fully Alive Awareness Campaign. There's some details there. You can do some digging. You can look through my pictures. I'm just not really ready to talk openly about any of that. Um, but that has been a nine years in the making and it's time to move forward. So anyway, about me. Okay, so here's the thing. Um, I relate with the orphans and the fatherless. And that's who my ministry is really geared toward. The forgotten, the neglected. Um, I relate to neglect. I've, I've learned late in my life that neglect is actually a cause of post-traumatic stress disorder. I mean, I just didn't really understand that until recently. Um, sounds silly, right? But, you know, I've been very well taken care of all my life without the help of of hardly anyone and it has everything to do with God and God's glory because that's that's what God does his no God doesn't have a respecter of persons but he does speak a lot about children and the fatherless and and, and the orphans and the widows and those are the people that the Lord um, you know, his heart breaks for, which is, which is every single person on this planet who is godless, basically. So, um, you know, I, so anyway, nine years ago, I started a journey on learning how to, to break the curse to stop the cycles of abuse. Um, 
and that's extremely important for our for ourselves for our children for our children's children to the third and the fourth generation um, that's I know that's what I'm created for um, it's a big deal to the Lord um, it's it's part of our identity being hidden in Christ so my my deepest intention and my deepest motive I mean because of the neglect that I have endured in my in my upbringing and whatnot um, you know finding out the calling in my life is a is really one of my my major reasons for waking up every day I'm excited to find out what what are my orders from the Lord you know what what is this legacy that I'm supposed to be passing on to my children that's really my motivation for life uh, it's what sustains me um, it, the purpose the real purpose is being driven by the Lord Jesus Christ and not this Rick Warren junk that's a bunch of new age junk okay um, another thing I want to say if you can hear my music I've always I've always loved music I've always been a metalhead um, when I drive around in the car this is what I listen to I listen to seven dust um, and when I'm at home I listen to praise and worship and if I if I turn off the radio and drive around I actually spend a lot of time crying and praying in the car so uh, um, what else do I want to say to you um, so a couple of years ago I I started a whole bunch of Facebook pages and groups and it was part of my process of doing research it's, it, it just seemed like I was you know it was like college 101 for me when I started waking up and I mean I really wasn't I just I was busy with life um, I I never really looked into the 9-11 matters <clears throat> until this most recent Pope and that is when I started doing my research and I collected all that information into my my Facebook pages and groups they weren't really communities it's just where I I passed on information um, but it was you know it was that meteor that struck in Russia that really got my attention and and the words that kept coming into my soul and my spirit was the word wormwood and, and, and that doesn't mean I really understand what that means even to this day it's just that uh, it's uh, it has something it just it's just something about um, God getting glorified in this time in the season like in a in a way never before so the new direction that I'm going into has a lot to do with <clears throat> excuse me studying the book of Daniel uh, you know that book is about the children and and that they're interested in science and they change their diet and it makes them you know it just makes them into these type of super beings who are really keen and connected to the Lord <clears throat> so I think that's the season that we're in I think that a lot of us who are who are being uh, you know heartstrings being pulled at you know you feel overwhelmed and compelled to look into these matters of Petalgate and Pizzagate I feel that you're gonna find your your identity and your instructions of how to get through the season in the book of Daniel um, 
some sweet woman brought to my attention a study and in this study it had something to do with the September 23rd there's supposed to be a Bethlehem star coming and I and I don't really understand it all together yet at this moment but there's something really extremely significant about this Bethlehem star and it has to do with uh, Virgo in the sky and Venus and Jupiter and all these all these planets but like there's there's something that happens where you can literally see um, some graphics where uh, I think it's Jupiter does a retrograde around Venus and shoots out of the womb of the Virgo constellation Wow and so people are saying that Revelation 12 is is that prophecy so you'll have to look into Revelation 12 but there's something connected to the book of Daniel I believe because in all I've been hearing in my spirit for a really long time now is Daniel 12 1 how people are standing up for the children Michael the Archangel stands up for the children you know he's compelling us to stand up for the children and the and the people who will be delivered are the ones written in the book of life um, something else about when the CIA was created apparently it was 1947 this year marks a 70 years of the CIA's existence and there's something significant about that 70 year period and it, it just all sounds like deliverance to me a lot of Christians think it has something to do with the rapture but I don't I don't believe in the rapture theory at all I think that people just haven't done enough Bible study to understand that it has everything to do with the day of the Lord um, so look into that so That might not be everything that I wanted to say today, but I just wanted to let you know. Um, you know, I'm, I'm just going to go into this new direction and I look forward to this new community that I'm going to be introduced to um, of people who are looking into this, this, this matter. Because, wow, it's really significant already that I'm discovering. I, I had to take a break from the studying and and get out of the house um, it's just spring is sprung around here in Kansas City the grass is green the flowers are blooming I'll show you that on another day maybe when the Sun is shining the allergies are at a halt all-time high here um, so that's it for today and I look forward to any of your comments on these matters. This is exciting. I'm really excited about this. This year. It's, if you might have heard me say it before, and if you're watching any of my other videos, I, I just feel like this is the year God's going to get the glory. And it seems, it seems like it's, it's happening, but the signs are in, in the solar system. It's in the looking into our constellations. I just don't know how to explain that to you. So that's just what's in my soul and my spirit. And you know I'll do a deep Bible study on it at another point. All right? God bless you all. Have a great day. Bye-bye.